coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It is time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding his professional record of 48 wins, 16 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, presenting the challenger, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! And now, introducing the champion, this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, presenting the ring, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Thailand. All right, here we go at stake, the UFC Flyweight Championship of the world. So he won the championship fight the last time by vicious knockout. So you can expect not just a bigger game tonight, more pay-per-view buys. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Check out this angle here. Bang! Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Highweight Champion of the World, Hyder. So he came in as the undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, and that is exactly the way he will go out after the knockout victory here tonight. You see the party is on in the corner, and rightfully so, after a Herculean effort here tonight. And speaking of Herculean efforts, it is gonna take a monumental showing for one of these fellow 125-pound contenders to dethrone this dominant champion, and still, the UFC Flyweight Champion of the world.
some paths must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions, willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. Our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, presenting the challenger, Carter. And now. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 25 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting, waiting, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, TJ. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Scheduled fight. for five rounds if needed. Oh, oh, he's out. He's out. Oh. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. And here we see it from another camera angle. Well, rarefied air in the UFC, he wins the super fight to become a two-division UFC champion, his future now undeniably in the UFC Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at three seconds in the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as he adds his name to a short list of fighters to win a UFC championship in more than one division. He has prided himself on taking on all comers, and tonight 
he gets the job done in epic fashion. Congratulations to the now two-division UFC champion of the world. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. Remember when we were telling you that you shouldn't miss this past weekend's monumental super fight? I hate to be that person, but we told you so. The fans were buzzing, the world was watching, and the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan was at capacity last weekend when the UFC flyweight champion challenged the bantamweight title holder in an epic super fight. When it was over, he had silenced the critics and made history as one of only a handful of fighters to become a UFC world champion in two weight classes. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.